question number 41 in this question we have to find the sum 1 cube upon 1 plus 1 cube plus 2 cube upon 1 plus 3 plus 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube upon 1 plus 3 plus 5 up to 9 terms so basically it is sigma r equal to 1 to n 1 cube plus 2 cube plus so on up to r cube upon 1 plus 3 plus so on up to 2r minus 1. So this is the sum that we intend to find. So if we will write the general formula, so this is r r plus 1 by 2 whole square. So r square into r plus 1 whole square divided by 4 and in the denominator we have r square sigma r 1 2 we have to add up to 9 terms so we will go up to 9 now r square gets cancelled and we have 1 by 4 into 2 square plus 3 square up to 10 square so we will write it like 1 square plus 2 square up to 10 square minus 1 square now this can be simplified using the formula and hence by solving this we get the answer as 96 now this is option number 4 so in this question option number 4 is the correct option in question number 42 it is a area question in which there are two inequalities given one equal inequality is y square less than equal to 2x and another inequality is y greater than equal to 4x minus 1 so we will first find out the point of intersection of the two curves so uh, y square is equal to 2x is the curve and the other curve is y equal to 4x minus 1 so simply put it over here so we get 4x minus 1 whole square equal to 2x which makes it 16x square minus 8x minus 2x so it will be minus 10x plus 1 equal to 0 so it is like 8x minus 1 into 2x minus 1 equal to 0 so x equal to 1 by 8 and x equal to half now correspondingly we will also find the value of y so if we put x equal to 1 by 8 here we get y equal to minus 1 by 2 and if we put x equal to half over here we get y equal to 1 now y square equal to 2x is a very well known parabola and y square less than equal to 2x will represent the region inside the parabola now y equal to 4x minus 1 is a line with slope 4 and y intercept minus 1 like this and we have already found out the point of intersections so y coordinate is minus half and for this point the y coordinate is 1 now to find this we will be taking the horizontal strip so obviously for this inequality the region is this and inside the parabola so the common region is of course this and for this we will take horizontal strip so minus half to 1 for this we will take x as y plus 1 by 4 minus for the parabola the x will be y square by 2 dy solving this we will get the required area which will amount to 9 upon 32 9 upon 32 so if we see the option the correct option is option number 2 option number 2 is correct in question number 43rd we are actually given the system of homogeneous equation we can rewrite the given system as 2 minus lambda times of x1 minus 2x2 plus x3 equal to 0 then we have 2x1 minus 3 plus lambda times x2 plus 2x3 equal to 0 and the third one we have minus x1 plus 2x2 minus lambda times of x3 equal to 0 and we have to find the value of lambda for which this system of equation has non-trivial solution so obviously the value of delta has to be 0 so 
that's 2 minus lambda 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus lambda 2 1 2 minus lambda equal to 0 we will open it up and solve it and straight away we will get the value of lambda as lambda equal to 1 and minus 3. So there are two possible values of lambda for which this system of equation will have a non-trivial solution. So according to that option number 1 is going to be the correct answer. So answer is going to be option number 1. Now in question number 44 we are given a complex number z1 minus 2 z2 divided by 2 minus z1 z2 and it is given that this complex number is a unimodular complex number that means modulus of this quantity is 1 and along with that it is given that z2 is not unimodular that means we are being given that mod of z2 is not equal to 1. So in a conventional manner we will take the denominators mod over here and then we will square. So after squaring we can write it like z1 minus 2 z2 into z1 conjugate minus 2 z2 conjugate mod square is complex number into its conjugate equal to 2 minus z1 z2 into 2 minus z1 conjugate z2 conjugate. So if we open it up if we can see uh, it's minus 2 z1 z2 conjugate will get cancelled from that side as well as minus 2 z1 conjugate z2 will also get after opening up the bracket from that side. So what we will be left with will be mod of z1 square plus 4 times of mod of z2 square equal to 4 plus mod of z1 square into mod of z2 square. So if we collect the terms if we take the 4 over here so this is basically 4 times mod of z2 square minus 1 that is equal to if we take mod z1 square over there so mod z1 square will be taken out and in the bracket mod z2 square minus 1 again but we are being given that mod z2 is not equal to 1 so we can cancel this out and we will be left with mod z1 square over 4 so obviously mod z1 is equal to 2 and we are being asked exactly this that mod z will lie on what so we can say that it will lie on a circle of radius 2 and according to that if we see the option number 1 is correct so option 1 is the correct answer to this question institute bond